For ESA, 2015 will start with a special payload for the fourth Vega launch from Kourou, the IXV or the Intermediate Experimental Vehicle. It has been designed to test technologies and critical systems for autonomous controlled re-entry from space. A crucial test as return is one of the most critical phases during space missions. IXV will be sent at an altitude of 450 kilometers and after a suborbital flight will splash down in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. ESA will also continue the deployment of the Galileo constellation with the addition of at least four more satellites. ESA is planning to launch them either with an Ariane 5 or two Soyuz launchers. For Earth observation, ESA will launch two new Sentinel satellites. First, a Vega launcher will send Sentinel-2A into space. It will be used for monitoring land surface conditions. Later, the Sentinel-3A satellite will be launched with a rocket. This satellite will measure surface topography, sea and land surface temperature, and ocean and land surface color. The Sentinels are part of the Copernicus program, formerly known as GMES. The program is a collaboration between ESA and the European Commission, aiming at improving the management of the environment and understanding and mitigating the effects of climate change. Another Earth observation satellite that ESA will launch is the fourth Meteosat of the second generation, another weather forecast satellite for UMETSAT. In 2015, ESA will once more contribute to the world of telecommunications satellites with the launch of EDRSA node on a Utilsat bird and later the launch of the first small geosatellite Hispasat AG1 on an Ariane 5. Both these innovative satellites are the result of a public-private partnership between ESA and European industry. For example, the EDRSA node has a breakthrough laser link system for low Earth orbiting satellite communication and small geo is a general-purpose small geostationary satellite platform, allowing European industry to play a significant role in telecommunication. It will be a very special year for ESA astronauts. In May, astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti, the first Italian woman in space, will return to Earth after a six-month stay in the International Space Station, the ISS. In September, Andreas Morgensen will perform an 11-day taxi mission to the ISS becoming the first Danish citizen in space. In November, British astronaut Timothy Peake will fly to the ISS for a long-duration stay. He will be the first British astronaut aboard the ISS. ESA will also follow up on the very successful Rosetta mission to the comet churumyov gerasimenko in 2015. Rosetta is still escorting the comet, and will be the first spacecraft to scrutinize a comet while approaching the Sun. In August, when the comet will be at its closest to the Sun, Rosetta will make unique observations of the comet's coma and its tail streaming into space. Another science project will be the launch of the LISA Pathfinder mission from Kourou. It will use a completely different method of observing the universe by trying to detect gravitational waves. This endeavor should allow astrophysicists to address some of the most fundamental questions about the universe.